In this video, we're going to talk about making changes on the fly. One of the great things about SOLIDWORKS Mold Tools is that it's actually creating features in your feature tree. Just like all the rest of your modeling in SOLIDWORKS, there's a hierarchy to the feature tree. Anything created before any of these mold tool options is going to be able to trickle down into the mold tool. So let's go ahead and let's hide some of these parts. And let's roll this tree back up. We're going to go all the way back to before the parting line. Now on my mold tools window, let's take a look at some of the options we have. Let's use the move face option. Now this is great if you want to make any last minute changes to certain parts. For instance, these bosses. If I didn't want to go back and find the feature, or if the feature hasn't been created in SOLIDWORKS, I can say move face. I can select a direction. In this case, let's select the top plane. And I can give it a value. In this case, let's say quarter inch. Now keep in mind what you're seeing on the screen is a preview. So in this case, we need to flip the direction to make sure that the boss is extending in the proper direction. So let's hit OK. As you can see, both of those have been extended. We do a quick draft analysis, make sure that we have one degree of draft selected. We can see that the draft has been carried on to the new quarter inch extended face. So this is a good way to make simple modifications to your part at the last minute. Now, it's always the best option to go back to the original feature, but that's not always an option that you can use. For instance, if it wasn't a simple extrude feature, then I wouldn't be able to go back to that. Or, let's say you wanted to move the face on this simple rib. Let's move it towards the top plane. Let's move it 0.05. So you can see now by the preview, it's actually subtracting from that part. Let's hit OK and let's see what happens. So not only has SOLIDWORKS removed material from that, it's actually carried it along and kept the same draft on the wall. If you came back in and tried to do an extrude cut operation to take care of just this one rib, then the results would be a little bit different. So this is a great way to manually modify some of the features at the last minute. If we roll our feature tree back down, all this information should trickle down into our mold tools and everything should update properly. So now let's go ahead and turn on some of our mold tool solid bodies. For instance, our lower tooling split, since all of our modifications are made to the inside of our part, and take a look at what's been done. We rotate this thing around. You can see that this center rib is a lot shallower than the surrounding ribs, but the geometry on the outside, all the drafted sections, is nice and smooth. We take a look into the depths of these bosses. You can see that that boss, is deeper than this boss. We take a look at it from the side. You can see that it's quarter inch offset. So everything we did before this in the feature tree trickled down into the mold and rebuilt properly. That concludes the video of making changes on the fly.